Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this post-webinar discussion. This afternoon, I presented very briefly on what to expect during this, this post-COVID time period, or as I mentioned during the webinar, it's kind of the, in hockey terms, the third, the third period of what feels like COVID. Um, it feels very much right now like we are back in March, April, and May of 2020 as things were beginning to shut down and businesses were moving remote, those other than those businesses that were essential. And we were really navigating and grappling with what to do within our work spaces, our physical workspaces, how to maintain a health, healthy and safe work environment. Um, when at the time we did not have extensive mandates from the state of New York. So now that the state of New York has really repealed, or I should say um, <clears throat> withdrawn all of, the, all of the mandates that we dealt with for most of, or a good portion of 2020 and 2021, at this point in time, employers are now starting to grapple with what do we do um, now that there's nothing telling us what to do. And that gives us a lot of flexibility and a lot of freedom to begin to develop policies within our workplace that make sense for our organization, as opposed to trying to uh, adhere to a one size fits all mandate. But with that, there is some, um, you know, there's not the comfort of having uh, the state or the government telling you what needs to be done and kind of checking off the boxes that the government has given you to check off. So we do not anticipate that the state will have any additional mandates as it comes to the workplace in terms of social distancing, masking, vaccination status, all of the issues that we've been grappling with. We may see some localized mandates at either the county, city, town, village uh, level, but we don't expect statewide mandates. So for the next little while, be sure that you are following um, your county executive, your the, the mayor of any city that you're found within, or any town or um, uh, village ordinance that that may be implemented um, as we as we kind of navigate the next several weeks of COVID. As you are working to develop your policies, please use us as a resource. Um, when you're trying to determine what you want to do about masking, about vaccination status, again, there's going to be a lot of freedom and flexibility in terms of how you draft and, um, and create those policies. And it will be dependent about an, uh, upon a number of different factors. It may depend on the industry you're in, um, the physical workplace that you're within, um, the, per, the rate of vaccination level you have within your workforce. All of those will impact uh, many of the policy decisions that you will make with regard to whether or not you want to require masking, whether or not you want to require vaccines, and all of those issues that we are now beginning to grapple with where we don't have a mandate. Uh, the issue of um, positive cases within your workforce is another one that, again, there's no mandate. So you will want to work closely with your county health department to determine next steps in terms of notifying and what to do with individuals who um, may be a quote unquote close contact if they're vaccinated or not vaccinated. Uh, but there will be a lot of interaction with your, your local um, government as we navigate the next several weeks. As you are navigating your policies and as you're navigating um, testing requirements, vaccine requirements, mask requirements, um, or you know any policy decisions relating to those items, please reach out to your, um, your employment counsel or favorite bond attorney to help you navigate those issues and help you navigate the local government landscape. 